Hi, welcome to this demo showing how to automate continuous integration and continuous delivery for WebLogic Cloud with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmetzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to manage the full life cycle of your code from managing the versions of the code in Git repository, analyzing the code for any dependencies that have vulnerabilities in them, packaging artifacts, deploying those artifacts to WebLogic Cloud, all while accessing Oracle Cloud infrastructure where the WebLogic is running. We have a WebLogic Server 14 running on Oracle Compute Infrastructure, and we have a JSF-based application deployed here. Let's do a refresh here. This is the current text that you're going to see. Okay. This whole application is managed inside Oracle Visual Builder Studio. Our code is inside the Git repository over here. And um, we also automated the whole process of building the code and deploying it and even doing security checks. So let's go over and modify the code. So first of all, notice we have a POM XML file here. We're using Maven to manage the dependencies. And then we have a web application here with an index HTML. This is the file that you actually saw rendered before. We can go over here and modify the file. For example, say, instead of hello there world, we can say hi world, like that. We can commit the changes into our Git repository. This goes into master. As a result, if we'll go to the build, we'll see that the security check build step has started. This is part of a pipeline that is going to run now, where we first start with a security check, then we package the application, and at the end we deploy. So let's look at the job that is currently running, the security check, and we'll look at the configuration of it. It starts with a connection to our Git repository, to the master branch, and it's automatically invoked each time that we modify it. Then in the before build step, we have usage of our dependency vulnerability analyzer to analyze any vulnerabilities and notify us through issues in our system. Note that we don't fail the build in this case. We just want to know about those. We're not going to uh, stop execution right now. In the steps we're doing here, a uh, running of tests uh, based on anything that we have in our project. Okay, so we can see this job just finished now. Let's click on the specific run that we did right now. And we can see we identified some vulnerabilities. We can go over here and get a complete list of all the vulnerabilities that were uh, introduced in our application uh, with a full report on each one of the errors here about the vulnerability, the dependency, the library, and we can even click the resolve button to try and resolve those. Let's go back to look at our jobs. We can see that all the jobs just finished now and they are all successful. Next job that ran was the packaged application. Okay. If we look at this one, we're using here a step that does a clean and install of our application, again, coming from the Git. And then in the after build, we're using an artifact archiver to keep our raw file uh, in our repository for the next run. We can also host it in ma our Maven repository if we want to. Not in the build step that we're currently using a Maven step, but you can also use other popular build frameworks such as Gradle and Ant. After the package, we run the deploy step. The deploy step uses a before build step to copy the artifact from the last successful package job. Okay, this is specifically copying the raw file. And then we're creating an SSH connection, configuring an SSH connection to our remote OCI server. In the steps, we're using the Unix shell step over here to define a script that copies the raw file over to our server then SSH into the server and run a set of command that finish with a WebLogic scripting utility that basically picks up the script and deploys our raw file to our instance. As we said, this is all part of a pipeline that we just executed now and finished three minutes ago. Let's go over and look at our application now. 
So before this it said hello the world, if we'll click the refresh, now it says hi world, and our changes have been deployed to the production instance.